Welcome to my lecture. Today we are going to see how to apply equation of velocity of the piston to solve a problem in slider crank mechanism. Let me read the problem. If the crank and the connecting rod are 300 mm and 1 meter long respectively and the crank rotates at a constant speed of 200 rpm, determine 1 the crank angle at which the maximum velocity occurs and 2 the maximum velocity of the piston. So now uh, we will just write down the given data. Okay. So what are all the data are provided as far as this problem is concerned. Okay. The first thing is uh, 300 mm. Okay. So it is the uh, radius of the crank. Okay. So the radius of the crank is 300 mm okay so better we can convert that into meter okay 0.3 meter and the second thing is we are given with the length of the connecting rod okay the length of the connecting rod is represented by a small l and which is equal to 1 meter and the speed at which the crank rotates is 200 rpm okay so these are all the given data okay as far as this problem is concerned and what we are going to find so we are going to calculate first one the crank angle the crank angle at which the maximum velocity occurs okay so the crank angle at which the maximum velocity occurs and we are going to calculate the maximum velocity okay so first thing is crank angle and second thing is the maximum velocity by using this crank angle that what we are going to find we can also find out the maximum velocity of the piston okay so now uh, we will solve the problem okay so first we need to find out the angular velocity of the piston which is equal to 2 pi n divided by 60 okay so what is this value so 2 pi multiplied by uh, this uh, speed of that uh, crank it is 200 and divided by 60 okay which is equal to so we can calculate that is of 20.94 radian per second okay. the first thing what you need to find is the angular velocity of the crank okay so by using the speed of the engine okay so we have a con constant speed of 200 rpm we can convert that into radian per second that is angular velocity so omega is angular velocity okay fine and the second thing what we need to know is we need to know the ratio that is n is equal to l by r okay n is the ratio between connecting rod length to the radius of the crank okay so we have a connecting rod length of 1 meter and the radius is 0.3 meter okay so the ratio is 3.33 okay 3.33 so now we have found out two values one is omega and another one is the n value that is 3.33 okay so now we are going to find out the crank angle at which the maximum velocity occurs okay so we are going to find out what is the exact crank angle at which the maximum velocity is going to be obtained okay so we know that the velocity of the piston is omega r sin theta plus sin 2 theta divided by 2 m okay for maximum velocity of the piston
the condition is the derivative of velocity of piston with respect to theta is equal to 0 okay the condition for maximum velocity of the piston is dvp by d theta is equal to 0 so this is the equation which represent the velocity of the piston and so we are going to differentiate it with respect to d theta so that for the maximum velocity it is going to be 0 okay because its maximum velocity is going to be constant so if you uh, differentiate this function then we will get 0 value okay so so we can just rewrite this like this d by d theta multiplied by omega r sin theta plus sin 2 theta divided by 2n which is equal to 0 okay this is what that exact representation of this dvb by d theta which is equal to 0 okay so now let us differentiate this component with respect to d theta okay so we can just write down the constant okay as it is it is omega r this value so now we are going to differentiate this term that is sin theta plus sin 2 theta divided by 2 n what we are going to get is sin theta is going to become cos theta so if you differentiate it plus this sin 2 theta will be cos 2 theta so if you differentiate it again that is 2 and divided by 2 yeah okay so this is what that uh, differentiation of this term that okay. so now this term becomes zero okay if you bring this term to the right hand side it will become zero so what is the value that we are going to get it from this equation is cos theta plus and this term is going to get cancelled so we are going to get cos 2 theta divided by n which is equal to 0 and here we are just going to expand this cos 2 theta okay so because cos 2 theta is 2 cos square theta minus 1 okay so this term becomes okay, just i'm just going to take that uh, lcm so it is just going to become n cos theta plus cos 2 theta is equal to 0 so divided by n so if you bring it to that side it will also be 0 okay and this cos 2 theta i'm just going to replace it with 2 cos square theta minus 1 okay so it becomes n cos theta plus 2 cos square cos square theta minus 1 which is equal to 0 okay fine so I'm just going to expand this okay so it is going to be 2 cos square theta plus so what is the value of n so n is equal to 3.33 so we have found it uh, from the previous uh, slide okay 2 cos 2 cos square theta plus so n I'm just going to substitute this value that is 3.33 and cos to d cos theta minus 1 which is equal to zero okay so now i need to find out the solution for this uh, theta okay by solving this equation it's very easy so we can just get uh, this is the final value cos theta is equal to 0.26 and by the way that uh, theta is equal to 75 degree okay this is the answer okay by solving this quadratic equation okay so i'm just going to get cos theta which is equal to 0.26 so theta is going to be cos inverse of 0 0.26 which is 75 degree okay so the first part is over that is the crank angle at which the maximum velocity occurs is 75 degree okay so because i just applied the condition initially what is the condition derivative of velocity of the piston with respect to t theta is equal to zero because uh, when we talk about the maximum velocity it is going to be constant so if i derive it uh, if I differentiate it with respect to t theta, it is supposed to be 0. By using this condition, I just uh, differentiated the equation of velocity and then I applied that all the known value and finally I got the value of theta which is equal to 75 degree. So at exactly the 75 degree, what happens is the maximum 
velocity occurs the maximum velocity occurs at theta is equal to 75 degree okay so now i found theta is 75 degree okay the next thing which i am going to find is the second thing which i need to know is the maximum velocity of the fist okay so i need to know what is the maximum velocity of the fist so from the previous uh, calculation we found that the maximum velocity of the piston uh, happen when theta is equal to 75 degree okay so it happened when theta is equal to 75 degree so again i am just going to use the equation for velocity that is vp is equal to omega r sin theta plus sin 2 theta divided by 2n okay so in this equation now i know the theta value okay so when the maximum velocity occurs and the other values are omega is i just calculated this value in the previous slide that is 20.94 radian per second just i'm just again writing for understanding fine okay and then n value is well, we know that it is 3.33 okay so these are all the values we need to know to apply in this equation so that we can calculate what is the uh, maximum velocity okay so this is the maximum velocity of the piston okay because i am just going to substitute theta when the maximum velocity occurs okay fine so omega value is 20.94 and r so another value just we need to know is radius of the crank that is 0.3 meter okay so here r is 0 0.3 and sin theta which is equal to 75 degree plus sin 2 multiplied by 75 degree uh, divided by 2 times 3.33 because 2 n okay so now i can just calculate uh, the maximum velocity of the piston okay it is uh, supposed to be a uh, 6.54 meter per second okay so that is the maximum velocity okay so with this problem so initially what we found is we calculated exactly at which crank angle the maximum velocity occurs okay by differentiating the velocity equation with respect to theta and equating that times to zero okay and then after knowing this theta value we have just applied this theta value in the velocity equation to find out what is the magnitude of the maximum velocity okay so we just found uh, what is the maximum velocity and theta at which the maximum velocity occurs okay that is 75 degree okay so now we have calculated uh, that two values okay so one is uh, the maximum velocity and angle at which the maximum velocity occurs okay fine